and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt in us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, he brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Michael the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard, safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, Ever this day be at my side, the light and God, to rule and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters and brothers, good morning. Our entrance hymn number 210, 210, Gather Christians. Gather Christians, let's now celebrate. Gather Christians, the Lord we now await. Gather Christians, behold he comes, rejoice and sing, for the Lord is King. To God the Father, let's give him praise, to God the Father, our voice we raise, to God the Father, who reigns above, praise the Lord for his mercy and his love. Gather Christians, let's now celebrate. Gather Christians, the Lord we now await. Gather Christians, behold he comes. Rejoice and sing, for the Lord is King. As we stand here before our God, with Christ Jesus, our saving Lord, We'll break his wood now and break the bread as we proclaim he's risen from the dead. Gather Christians, let's now celebrate. Gather Christians, the Lord we now await. Gather Christians, behold he comes, rejoice and sing. For the Lord is King. Good morning to everybody. Morning, morning, Father. And let us bless our God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ 
have mercy, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Tuesday of week four. I will sing to you, O Lord, and I will walk in the way of perfection. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord, I will walk in the way of perfection. When, O oh when, O oh Lord, will you come? I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is base. I will heed the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must keep far away. The wicked I disown. The man who slanders his neighbor in secret, I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks on haughty heart, I will never endure. I look to the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. He will walk in the ways of perfection, shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will sing to you, O Lord, and I will walk in the way of perfection. O Lord, do not withdraw your favor from us. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and worthy of praise, and your name is glorified forever. You are just in all that you have done to us, for we have sinned and lawlessly departed from you and have sinned in all things. For your name's sake, do not give us up utterly and do not break your covenant. Do not withdraw your mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, and for the sake of Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promise to make their descendants as many as the stars of heaven and as the sand on the shore of the sea. For we, O Lord, have become fewer than any nation and are brought low this day in all the world because of our sins. And at this time, there is no prince or prophet or leader, no burnt offering or sacrifice, or oblation or incense, no place to make an offering before you or to find mercy. Yet with a contrite heart and a humble spirit, may we be accepted as though it were with burnt offerings of rams and bulls and with tens of thousands of fat lambs. Such may our sacrifice be in your sight this day, and may we wholly follow you, for there will be no shame for those who trust in you. And now with all our heart we follow you, we fear you and seek your face. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord, Lord do not Lord, withdraw Lord, your Lord, favor Lord, from Lord. us. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind? Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow? Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, read them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. 
Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out of the mighty waters from the hands of alien foes whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp. To you who give kings their victory, who set David, your servant, free. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I, I will sing, sing a new, new song to you, you O God. God. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Micah. With the shepherd's crook, O Lord, lead your people to pasture, the flock that is your heritage, living confined in a forest with meadow land all around. Let them pasture in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old, as in the days when you came out of Egypt, grant us to see wonders. What God can compare with you, taking fault away, pardoning crime, not cherishing anger forever, but delighting in showing mercy once more, have pity on us. Tread down our faults to the bottom of the sea. Through all our sins, grant to Jacob your faithfulness and Abraham your mercy, as you swore to our fathers from the days of long ago. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy. O Lord, you once favored your land and revived the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted, you, averted, you averted all your rage. You calmed the heart of your anger. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy. Revive us now, God our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Let, Let us see, see O oh Lord, your, your mercy. Will you not restore again our life, that your people may rejoice in you? Let us see, O oh Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Let, Let us see, O oh Lord, your mercy. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. When anyone obeys what Christ has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was speaking to the crowds when his mother and his brothers appeared. They were standing outside and were anxious to have a word with him. But to the man who told him 
this, Jesus replied, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Anyone who does the will of my Father in heaven, he is my brother and sister and a mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, Jesus used the occasion to teach something that is very important. And what is very important is that he's telling us that doing the Father's will is a criterion by which we become God's family. By doing the Father's will, we become God's family. By the way, he's not denying the normal human family. Blood is thicker than water. But he's pointing to another and a higher form of relationship, and that is a family of God. Bonded by doing God's will, which includes what Jesus did, the blood of Christ purifying us and the love of Christ binding us together as Christ's body, why we are adopted as children of God. So then God looks not so much on the physical DNA, but on the spiritual DNA. That is, people who are purified by God's blood, people who are moved by God's love, people who seek to do daily God's will. That's a spiritual DNA. And that, that is what makes us ready for the kingdom. Doing God's will is then essential to being a Christian. No? It's not just about calling on the name of God, but doing his will. That's important. Everyone is called to be God's family through doing his will. No? Through doing his will. But we, we must look at at Mary herself because more than anybody else, including Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Moses and Elijah or any of the prophets, Mary is the one who cooperated with God's will the best, perfectly. Of course, God helped her, but she was open to that help. So then, the truth is, she's the first family, the first lady. She's the first lady of God's family. No? So there the again, she remains a mother. So Jesus is not trying to push her down. But in a sense, he's giving us a good understanding as to who Mary is. He is a woman. Who is, she can be my mother because she did God's will. And she's always doing God's will. And her children must be like her. We must seek to do God's will all the time. She's the first lady of God's family. And in fact, one spiritual writer said that Mary's fiat, Mary's yes to God, that is what made it possible for us to become children of God, for us to enter into God's family. So this, this is not, because I know there are some Protestants who use this to think that the Lord is saying, it doesn't matter. Mary doesn't matter. But not really. She matters a great deal. She made it possible that we can be adopted as God's children in Jesus because she brought him into the world. And this is something that we must always remember. The other thing that is very important, keep in mind that this form of family is higher than the physical family. And what it means then is that when we come here, we have to remember that, that we are family. We have a relationship that is beyond human relationship. It is spiritual. It is directed by the Holy Spirit. And we must remember, therefore, that we belong to one another. And we are called to look out for one another at all times. We cannot forget that. Not doing that means that we do not belong to God's family. Those who belong to the family of God of one heart and mind and spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.
Let us pray. Hear my cry, hear my cry, Lord, for I hope in your word. Thanks. Mm. Respond. Stay with us. Lord, Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Lord, save us. Look after intercessions. Our sufferings bring acceptance. Acceptance brings hope, and our hope will not deceive us, for the Spirit has been poured into our hearts. It is through the same Spirit that we, that we pray. Stay, Stay with, with us, us Lord, Lord, on our journey. Help us to realize that our troubles are slight and short-lived. They are as nothing compared with joy with the joy we shall have when we reach our home with you. Stay, Stay with us, us Lord, on our, our journey. journey. Come to the lonely, the unloved, those without friends. Show them your love and help them to care for their brothers and sisters. Stay, Stay with, with us, us Lord, Lord, on our, our journey. journey. Take away our pride, temper our anger. May we follow you in your gentleness. May you make us humble of heart. Stay, Stay with, with us, us Lord, Lord, on our, our journey. journey. Give us the fullness of your spirit, the spirit of sonship. Make our love for each other generous and sincere. Stay, Stay with, with us, us Lord, on our, our journey. journey. And let us say to Francis and Jason, our bishops, let us pray that they will help all the faithful to understand that we are God's family, co-heirs with Christ of God's glory. Only when we submit to God's will, we pray. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. We place the sick before you, Lord God. May the hand of Jesus touch their wounds of body, mind, and soul, and make them whole. We pray. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Dear Lord, grant our daily needs today, and may we seek more than ever before to do God's will and experience union of heart, mind, and spirit with God, our Savior, and our Father, we pray. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. May the love of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist be effective in us and move us to see our neighbor as family. Help us to love our spiritual family with charity, compassion, and kindness as you have loved us. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, and may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, May we be accepted by you, Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquity. Cleanse us from our sin. Pray, my sisters, pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts. Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to Let Lord. us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ Jesus, our Lord and God. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it, to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call out to God, O oh Father, giving the Lord thanks and praise for his great gift of allowing us to be his own adopted children. So let us tell the Lord that we are always ready to behave as family with the help of his grace. And as we call out to God, O oh Father, we lift up for anniversary blessing, Savannah and Pajai Elliot, as we dare say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven. hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give you us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Moved by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace. The peace of Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God. The sins of the world grant us your peace, Lamb of God. Grant us your peace, Lamb of God. My sisters, my brothers, behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world, blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Love is his word. Love is his word. Feasting with man. Casting alone. Living and dying. Rising again. Love, only love is his word. Richer than gold. Is the love of my Lord better than splendor and wealth? Love is his way, love is his mark, sharing his lust, Passover feast, Christ at his table, host to the twelve. Love, only love, is his mark. Richer than gold is the love of my Lord. Better than splendor and wealth. Love is his mark. Love is his sign. Bread for our strength. Wine for our joy. This is my body, this is my blood, love, only love, is a sign. Richer than gold is the love of my Lord, better than splendor and wealth. Love is his news, love is his name, we are his own, chosen and called, family, brethren, cousins and kin, love, only love is his name, richer than gold is the love of my Lord, better than splendor and wealth. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy ones, those who were his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe in the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, darkness to those, those who dwell in the shadow of death, death and to guide us in the way of peace. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Let us pray. Lord and God, we pray, graciously be present to your people, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass some former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. May God Almighty bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks to God. be to God. And have a wonderful day, my friends. Same to you, Father. And remember that I'm leaving tomorrow early in the morning. Then we're back for the 14th of August. Number 207. Follow Christ, Christ and love the world as he did. He did. When he walked upon the earth, love each friend and enemy as he did. In God's eyes we have equal worth. Follow Christ and serve the world as he did. When he ministered to everyone, serve each friend and enemy as he did. So that the fathers will be done. He said, love, love each other as I love you. By this all men will know you are mine. As I served you, I ask that you do this new commandment I assign. Follow Christ and love the world as he did. When he walked upon the earth, love each friend and enemy as he did. In God's eyes we have equal worth.